Hello everyone, I'm Nine First Morning Meteorologist Sherry Hughes. We started in the upper 20s this morning and just struggled a good portion of the day with temperatures, but we're in the upper 30s. Tonight though, the clouds are going to part. We've had a few of those as well. And as those clouds part and break apart there, we'll see some mostly clear skies. We'll see temperatures fall even lower for the last day of March. 22 degrees. In fact, it will be April. This is an early morning temperature here and we'll see unseasonably cold conditions out, but the winds will be relaxed a bit. So hopefully that lessens that wind chill that we had this morning. These are the lows for the overnight low twenties uh, may even find some teens that could pop in some of our northern communities there, but we'll say 22 from Versailles to 22 in Georgetown looks very uniformed as all of our tri-state communities will see those very cold temperatures. High pressure is going to make a run for the east, and as it does tomorrow, we get sunshine moving in here. Maybe a few clouds still lingering. Temperatures will warm into the upper 40s. And on Tuesday, this front is going to fall apart out to the west of us. So we'll get a dry day on Tuesday as well with more sunshine and warming into the 50s. 60s on Wednesday, but by Thursday, we're bringing in the next chance of some scattered showers and even warmer temperatures in that lower to mid 60s range. But as of for your Monday, it's the 1st of April and uh, temperatures are going to be unfortunately below normal. We should be seeing the near 60 degree temperature right now, but we start again at 22 and end at about 50. But we should have ample sunshine and some fair weather clouds passing by.